OK, so for this one, I'm going to use the um, if IFS ifs function. And essentially what I'm going to do is sort of do it in two segments, which is I want to basically check, OK, um, does the birthday fall in the month? So does it match that? And also is the start date between that date and end date? Also, alternatively, is it, you know, in that month or between this date and end date? OK, so that's really how I'm going to construct this. And basically, if it's none of those, it's going to be kind of say no birthday. Okay, so go to formulas and I go to ifs. All right. So what I'm going to start with is I'm going to start with my um, and function. OK, so I click here, go up to this one and I choose and. OK, because I need to all the conditions have to be met. So click and and then click OK. So my first one is going to be is the month of the birthday. Close my brackets equal to this one here. F4 to lock it. Okay. Also, is the day of the birthday, which is here, greater than or equal to the start date, which is here, F4. And the last one then is the day of that birthday, bracket, less than or equal to this one, F4 again. Okay. So that's the first one there. And then what I do is just come up here, is click between the two brackets and put comma. And I'm going to say, if it's true, has birthday. OK, now I need to go down to the second one again, because I now need to do kind of like the other month. This would also work if you just had one month as well. But just so what I'm going to do is I'm going to control C, copy, paste. Control V. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to edit this. So I'm just going to go back over here to the beginning. And I'm going to say the, because it's the same basic structure. So I want to say if the month of the birthday is now equal to L2, I'm going to go down one row up here to this one. And then go across. I want to say if the birthday is greater than or equal to N2 again, which is this one up here. And then across again, which is back to this one, two, which is the close date. And if that's true, again, has birthday. And then click OK. Now, the problem with this is that we now have some of these do have birthdays. So, for example, the 19th of the 5th. Yes, the 9th of the 5th does fall between the 1st, the 5th, 4th and the 6th. But I don't want the NA. I want to basically say has no birthday. So. I need to wrap the if error function around it, which is one, I think, slight drawback of this particular function, which is that if it's, you know, if it's um, you kind of find sometimes that if it doesn't, you know, provide you with what you want, you have to kind of wrap the if error function. So I click up here, type this one, type in if error. Remember, it's my big blanky function over to the end, comma, and write in no birthday. There we go. Now, the finishing touches to this I'm going to add are going to be with my um, uh, conditional format. So go to home, conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, equal to no birthday. I'm going to just make it yellow. All right, let me just remind myself. Of, let me just remind myself what I did in the completed version. Yep, it was yellow. Conditional formatting, highlight cells rules, equal to no birthday. And I'm just going to make it yellow. And I'm going to say for the people who have a birthday, conditional formatting, highlight cells, rules, equal to has birthday. And I've got to make that green. Click OK. All right. So that's the first bit. Now, the next bit then is um, I'm going to add an if function, just do a little bit where you can kind of highlight so that you're looking at it and you can see, OK, what's the actual day I have it? But I'm just going to do that in the next segment. OK, mind yourself. Take care. Bye.